One excellence empowers innovation in everyone's life. We keep moving forward to a wonderful tomorrow, dreaming amazing dreams and living fuller lives everywhere, every moment, every day. Taiwan Excellence. Everyday Excellence. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Grace. I'm from Adapt.co, and it's my pleasure to be your moderator for today's webinar, Shaping Healthy Design with Innovation. First of all, I'd like to thank all of you for joining us today. This episode of webinar is brought to you by Taiwan Excellence and jointly organized by Malaysia Kini and Kini Events. Maybe some of you might not have heard of Taiwan Excellence. Let me give you a brief introduction of what they're all about. Taiwan Excellence is a name that carries the honor of Taiwan's premium product. It is a symbol of recognizing outstanding and innovative products from Taiwan. Every year, the best products are shortlisted for the Taiwan Excellence Award, passing a stringent quality assurance process to get the seal of excellence. So whenever you buy a product with the Taiwan Excellence logo, you know you're getting the best of quality. In recent years, people have become more health conscious than ever. And with us staying at home most of the time now, people are always looking for new ways to make their home environment healthier and smarter. So today, we'll dive into the topic of how the interior design and home product industries have evolved, what they have done to adapt, and how they are moving forward. Joining us today will be the two representatives from two Taiwan Excellence Award-winning companies. We have Mr. Alvin Ng and Mr. Tommy Lim, as well as well-known Malaysian interior designer, Mr. Ui Bun Xiong. Before we go into the panel discussion of today's webinar, I'd like to invite each speaker to come forward and give us a brief introduction about their company and the two award-winning featured product of today. First of all, I'd like to introduce Mr. Ui Bun Xiong, the Chief Executive Director from Ui Design Associates ODNA. As an active member in the ID industry, Mr. Ui is also the Deputy President of the Malaysian Institute of Interior Designers, MIID. Let's welcome him for his sharing. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining this. I would like to thank Grace and also uh, Taiwan Excellent and Malaysia Kini uh, to invite me as uh, one of the speaker to share about my profession and what I know about interior. I would like to have a share screen uh, to show you about my company. Uh, can you guys see it? Okay, uh, my name is Umi. Uh, this is my company, Umi Design Associate, ODNA. Uh, we are the licensed interior designers and uh, you can see below our motto is good design is obvious, great design is transparent. We all believe the good design not only appearance but have the meaning in, in them. No? So it's all transparent hidden. Uh, we are the company that's uh, registered the professional body like MIID, Malaysia Institute of Interior Designer, and also registered with Lembaga Architect Malaysia, LAM. That's our certification, and we also a multiple award winning company from the year that we started. For my personal achievement, I'm the designer of the year for UPSTA, Asia Pacific Design Association. Uh, this is our studio. Sorry, yeah. This is our studio. This, uh, we have about 25 of us in the studio, consists of the designers, project, project personnel, and also our admin support. Uh, we are focused a lot on the high-end residential that you can see a few of design here, show units for developers, sale gallery again for developers, corporate offices, retails, and the public space and hospitality. Our success is basically we have very committed team that's always designed with passion and integrity. The effective communication is also one of the key things for our company. We provide a good quality details and social commitment throughout the project from start until finish. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ui. Next, let's invite Mr. Elwin Ng the sales manager from KD Panel. Let's welcome him to give us a brief introduction about the latest product all the way from Taiwan, which is the antibacterial pre-finished veneer wood panels from KD Panel. 
Okay. Hi, everyone. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first of all, I need to thank uh, Grace. At the same time, I would like to thank for our Taiwan Excellence and uh, Malaysia Cleaning to give us a chance right, to share our product in this uh, event, okay, in this web webinar platform. Okay, so now I'm going to um, I'm going to share my screen for my slide. Okay, so I'm just uh, introduce myself. I'm, I'm, my name is uh, Elvin Ng here. I'm a sales manager from the uh, KD Partners. Okay, so this is my slide I will go through. So what I will go through is uh, our outline today will be on company introduction, pre-finished wood veneers panel, characteristic and advantages, and some of the project photos, right, has been done. Okay, so I will show to you guys. Okay, so I'm just uh, sharing with you guys our company is right, uh, mainly we are from Taiwan. Okay, so our company is uh, established in the year of 2002. Okay, so our headquarter office is in Taipei. Even we having a branches office, for example, in Taiwan, you can see that in Xinju, Taichung, Tainan, and Kaohsiung. Even we have a China, we have a 50 branch office, uh, more than 50 branch office there. Okay, even in Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, even Philippines, we have a, we having a branch office. Okay. At the same time, we also, uh, luckily, we also have a representative and distributor in Japan, Korea, USA, and India as well. So we're having a logistics center, for example, to keep our stock, for example, in Taipei, Taichung, Tainan. In China, the places will be on Shanghai, Beijing, Chengdu, Shenzhen, and Wuxin. So in Singapore, Malaysia, and USA, we do have the stock and the logistics center here. Okay. At the same time, this is our our Chia Yi in Taiwan is a one of the production plant. It's our fa uh, manufacturing uh, area. So you can see that our size of the factory area is 110,000 meters square and 1.2 million square feet is a very big, okay? So I'm coming to this uh, KDP finished vineyards. I'm showing to you guys our products. Okay, so what are the KD panels? You can see that in my screen here, I'm, you can see that we're having one of the panel is a KD pre-finished wood veneer panel, which is the veneer is a lamination on top of the plywood backing. And at the same time on top, we're having a plywood of the quality UV coating as well. Okay, so on the right hand side here, you guys can be see is a KD pre-finished paper back veneers. Okay, so it's a, it's a veneer itself is a lamination in the paper backing. On top, of course, we are putting UV coating as well. So for our panel, so you can see that the dimension, the size will be on four by eight feet. And the thickness will be starting from 3 mm to 5 mm. It depends on the wood species, which is selected. And come to the paper bag for the for the linear matching, right? For the aging, right? The size of the dimension will be on 2 by 8 feet. And the thickness itself is coming from 0 0.4 mm to 1.2 mm. It depends on the wood species as well. Okay, so I'm willing to share it with you guys. You can see in the screen here in this slide. This is one of the production process of our KD panels. We are bottling the lots. Okay, after that, we are doing slicing. Okay, after doing the slicing, we are become a wood veneers and coming to, we are doing veneers lamination on top of the backing. And at the same time in the factory, we are doing for the sanding, wire brushing. And the last one, we are doing one of the coating and finishing as well. So our coating, we are repeat at least our seven times more to protect it, okay? So what is the, some of them, you will know that what is our advantages that using a wood veneers, okay? So here is the nine advantages point that I'm willing to share. It's a one, it's a, the first one is one healthy protection. And the second one, our product is a more durable. And the third one is a ease of maintenance. And the fourth one is a time saving because our product is a pre-finished it, okay? And the fifth one is the frame retardant that we're having these advantages. And even we're having a zero contamination of our products. And the seventh one is a preventing a controversy. And the eighth one will be consistent quality on our product. And we do having a last one, we're having a matching paper bag for our veneer as well, okay? So this is a certificate and a test report that we are getting. We are one of the product, we are getting a frame retardant test report, even we're having a green building materials, okay? Even we're having a Singapore green labor. At the same time, you can see that we are product is our F1 low formally high as well. And we are one of the company, we are getting a Japanese F4 star certificate as well, okay? Okay, so our product range, right? We're having a 30 wood species on hand. The color and variation, we're having a 300 plus over. It's a much, much of a variation that, that can be choose. At the same time, the good news is that, that we're having a logistic center here so that we're having an available stock in Malaysia, okay? So you can see that some of the vineyard that you see here, we're having a recon vineyard examples. This is a, some of the uh, reference photo that I'm showing to you guys, okay? 
For natural linear example, you can see on this side, this is a sum of the picture that has been done. You can see how it's characteristic and beauty of the wood. Okay. And come to the natural linear example. This is a, the feeling will be more modern and coming to the distance is more natural and the more special. I can see that on these uh, modern on, and the natural linear. Okay. So for our client, you can see that if we have our client on the hospitality, for example, Mario, St. Regis, Hilton's region, Sheraton, so as other Mandarin Oriental as well. So for commercial space, you can see that in this list, we're having in Big Top, Google's and Taiping 101. And some in Malaysia, we do have a sort of lavender bakery. Even we're having a Big Top, uh, even we're having a using for our, um, for the chocolate, one of the barrel chocolate. Okay, and even uh, one of the project we're having on the hospitality is uh, nearby the uh, lot tank is a Wallow Hotel. Okay, the whole of the building, their room interiors and the lobby areas is using our materials. Okay, this is a sum of the reference photo uh, willing to share to you guys. Okay, you can see, okay, I'm preparing for some of the photo. So to embrace the true beauty of the wood. Okay, this is one of the project you see in the picture, right? It's one of the project in St. Regis Maldives. Okay, you can see that the back head itself is using a vineyard as well. So how the, the room is, uh, I think the room is more high end, you can see it, okay? Okay, so that we are having a look, look, uh, looking for the global network and distributor as well. We are searching for distributor around the world, uh, present in the design hubs around the world and create a partnership with a new creative uh, result as well, okay? So this is a Q&A so that you can see that we are keeping the QR code here. So you guys, if you please, you, can, you guys can be, uh, now they're taking the, your foot to scan it to get some of the project reference photo has been done in this picture. Okay, that is my that is my presentation today, and I would like to share some of the for for our KD panels. We are more in we are bringing for um, healthy products in the market. At the same time, we are continuously we are dedication to provide a more responsible product to our client as well. Okay. Anyway, thank thanks a lot. Mm. Thank you, Alwin. Beautiful okay. from Katie Panel. Thank Last but not least, uh, let's invite Mr. Tommy Lim from Molecule Group, who will be giving us some insights of this new product, Flow to One Single Room Fresh Air Exchanger from Tumay, which I believe everyone will wish they have one at home now. Okay, let's hear from you, Tommy. Hi, thanks Grace for the introduction and here also thanks Malaysia Kini and the Taiwan Excellence for holding uh, this Zoom webinar. Okay, uh, I'm Tommy Lim, uh, okay, so a sales director for Molecule Group. So let me share my screen for a while. Okay, this is my screen, let me share it, yeah. Okay, I'm Tommy Lim, a sales director for Molecule Group. We are established since 2004. We are the sole distributor for Tume product in Malaysia. And now you can find Tuma product across in Malaysia, more than 200 dealers, uh, including Sabah and Sarawak as well, Brunei as well. Okay, so what Tuma is actually sell? Tuma is actually an air systems company. They help you to solve the air system that uh, solving the indoor pollutions. So a lot of customers, they ask me, what is indoor pollutions? Indoor pollution is five things. The first one is the unwanted, unwanted particles that are like PM 2.5, dandens, bacteria, the viruses, the thing that we don't want to inhale in our body, in our lungs, is the first thing. The second thing is about the moisture, because the moisture, if they stay in our home, they will create a mold. So it will make us headache to, uh, to prevent all of this. The third one will be the odor, the smell, the uh, when it comes to come the haze, okay, the smoke that came into our homes, okay, we don't want to have that, okay, so we want to get rid of that to make our home is prettier. And also the heat that will trap in our home, so we want this hot air going to the outside, so make sure that our home is cold, or I would say it's in the not so, not so hot environment now. The fifth one is the most ox uh, important part is the oxygen level. Because most of times we close the door and the window during we sleep seven to eight hours. So the oxygen level is very, very low. So we need to bring fresh air. So these five things we must be considering when we're having an air system. In the market right now, they have a lot of like air purifier, dehumidifier, air conditioner to help you to solve each of the problem. Not all, only each. Like air purifier help you to 
uh, help you to uh, filter up the PM 2.5 that doesn't give you fresh air. The good things about Tumay is it able to give you the first and the only one in Malaysia. It was called the 421 A Exchanger. And this is uh, it's a patented product. Uh, so this quite a lot of people haven't seen these products before. So I will skip to how this machine works. The installations are very, very easy. Okay, this is the front part, the front part that you will see in your home. And this one will be the uh, outside of your home. Uh, it's a louver. Okay, so how this machine works, very easy. The first of all, this machine will help you to take out the PM 2.5 if you mm -hmm. exhaust out the CO2, formaldehyde, desmite, bacteria, virus, everything will be out. Okay, it works like the PM, uh, works like a uh, air purifier, just that you don't recycle. But in the same time, it will bring in the fresh air. But before they bring in the fresh air into our premises, they make sure, because Malaysia weather is about 37 degrees, so it will decrease the air temperature to around 30 degrees using heat exchanger. Decrease it. And then, okay, not only that, uh, they have a filter, which is a grade H11, a medical grade, able to help you to purify 99.9 .9 of PM2.5. And also have a active carbon to help you to uh, take out the odor and the smoke, the smell that you don't want the fresh air coming into your home to give you a very good fresh air. So in this, in this like a pandemic, uh, I've received a lot of uh, inquiries. A lot of people ask me about, hey, able to help in the fight, fight COVID or not? I would say that according to the New York State Environmental Protection Agency that shows, and you can find a lot of articles in the internet as well, it's actually status over there. If your home's got to have a very, very good ventilation system, so actually the viruses and the bacteria will trap in your home, okay? It actually help you to reduce the chances, reduce the chances, and it's actually even it's better. This is why we always say that, make your home readier. So Flow 21 series have two variants, okay? There are two SLU here. The first one is catered for 533 square feet, and the other one is uh, 850 square feet. I'm not going to elaborate about their functionality because due to the time constraint, okay? But if you want to have a look, you can always go to my website later, I will show it to you. Besides Tuma selling of this, they also have other products, which is a very fantastic product as well. They have a dark type ventilator, which is a DC motor. They are the, considered the number one DC motor in Malaysia. And then also we have selling the high volume low speed spans, which is from 3 meter to 7.3 meter. We have the EC motor that has patented. So if you want to look at all this product information, you always can email to me at Tommy at moleculegroup.com. Okay. Or you can go to our website www.tuma.com.my. Okay. So I finished my presentation here and I back to you, Grace. Thank you. Thank you, Tommy, for your sharing. All right, thank you everyone. Okay, let's dive into the highlight of today, which is the panel discussion for the topic, shaping healthy design with innovation. So right here, we've got three main questions here to discuss, brainstorm and address together. Okay, so first of all, as the modern homeowners nowadays, we are constantly looking for healthier, smarter products for the benefit of our families. So how do we actually define a product that is for healthy living and at the same time, human-centered and innovative? Does it require to be user-friendly, eco-friendly, kids-friendly, or even pet-friendly? Nowadays, a lot of us, we have got pets at home. So Alvin and Tommy, how do you see your products relate to these uh, requirements? Alvin, would you like to go first? Of course. Can. Okay, actually for our wood, wood minus example, uh, for our wood minus product, right? Previously I have mentioned our wood minus is a more in the healthy products uh, since we are wanted our client to be used. Okay. At the same time, that, that is why we are we are we are one of the low formaldehyde products. At the same time, we are also getting a green label certificate. Okay, that is uh, for example, if uh, for, for some of the project, for example, for hospitals and even some of the uh, homes that they are more in the healthy protection they are wanted. So that actually for our product is a very suitable time to use during this, uh, during this, uh, during this. 
Hello. <laughs> yes. Uh, Tommy, would you like to add in some points? How do you see? Uh, I believe that because of the technology right now and the innovations are keep on uptrending right now, every about two or three years, they keep on changing. And I believe that technology is so high tech. Uh, of course, you must bring value for your product like eco-friendly, kid-friendly and environmental friendly. I think that is a must. And that is uh, one of the value they're going to bring to the home owner, to the uh, user itself, because they need value. It's, they not need the product, they need the value. Thank you. As for Mr. Ui, as an experienced interior design in the panel, right? So in your opinion, what is a good example of healthy and innovative design solution uh, from the recent years in the industry? Can you give us some examples? Uh, thanks, Grace. I think, uh, Listen to the, the, uh, this uh, Tommy and Elvin I share. Basically, I also can see a few aspects like, talking about the healthy conscious as a designer with design. Beside the use of the materials, you know that's a lot in market now. It's talk about non-toxic. There are non, uh, how to say, the gas that can like for murder high free material, low VOC material. They are not only that's uh, on the veneer. It goes to paint, you know, go to the wallpaper, wall covering, even fabrics, and uh, even the upholstery foam for the sofa and so on. There's, uh, I think more and more people were more cautious about all the material to do to the certain products that uh, might cause to the health. You know? And beside that, I think in terms of technology, there's a lot of the uh, smart home system to relax your mind, the lighting, mood, and so on. And of course, with the COVID now, a lot even invented a touch, a touchless type of a kind of equipment and so on. And for the designer, I think the fundamental, the basic one for the good, healthy design, first, we are looking for the space that can have a lot of natural ventilation and lights. That's fundamental. You don't need to spend a lot of money, but basically using your innovative idea and creation to look at the site study and how you really can bring all this natural thing coming to your home. No? And you can start also with the healthy lifestyle. You also some, because as you know, when, when now the space of living getting smaller and smaller, you also want the space to be more flexible. The kind of selection of furniture will be more lighter, can, can transform the space to be multifunction. And Worse is not, now the pandemic, that's, uh, the, some houses like in condo don't have the luxurious or outdoor. They might convert some of their balcony, become a small garden with the system that uh, they can buy off shelf to create a, a plant, a vertical plant and so on. So I think, uh, and of course, for the bigger picture nowadays for healthy lifestyle, we also talk about eco-friendly, like using all the energy saving products, you know, lights and so on. This is all my view. Thank you, everyone. Wonderful insights here. And the next question is an interesting one. Many of us should be curious and concerned about something related to our dollars and cents. And in most people's mind, health, healthy and eco-friendly products are usually more expensive. So is this a truth or is this a myth? How do we actually see the value out of our investment? And for our audience, in the meantime, we are also running a poll which you can see on the screen in a while. Okay, so the question is, are you willing to spend more on eco-friendly or healthy products? Yes or no? We'd like to invite all our audience to cast your vote while we carry on with the discussion here. So tell me, what do you think? Do you think your product is considered more premium in terms of the price point? And for the consumers, how do you help them justify their spending and see the value out of it? Uh... I was I will, I will say that yes, yes, for the innovations, the technology comes to help in the healthy, uh, healthy technology. Yes, it is more premium. I will say it's more premium. If you look up, if you only look at the product itself, but the if you look at by the value itself, then it's a lot of a difference. Because other products you buy maybe just that the things that you want or you look and look nice all that. 
But the other way around that when you buy something, if it's a value, this thing that you provide values for quite some times, for quite some times, this one not only will help you to generate a healthy lifestyle, it also can uh, give you a, a charisma, a charisma a little bit, okay? So it will give you a more of a, a long-term investment. I would say it's a long-term investment. This is, we need to, you share it to people that the values of it, the most, most of the time, the people they spend money, they, they only look at the product, they don't look at the value. So this is thing that, uh, this is good things about this webinar, we need to educate, <laughs> okay? So it's a long-term benefit that comes from it, right? Okay, so what about you, Elwin? Um, especially when a consumer is buying your product, how would you advise them? And what is the one key area to focus on in terms of uh, spending their money wisely? Okay, so and thanks, Grace. So I'm just uh, sharing that for wood media itself is coming from natural resources, okay? So basically, right, uh, for each of the wood species has its own special characteristic, okay? In order to present the wood, uh, the natural of a beauty of the wood, okay? And the unique um, identity of the wood grain itself, Okay, at the same time, it's a different method of technic uh, technical of the finishing must be applied, uh, of course. Okay, so for us, because we're having a lot of products, for example, we do have a natural vineyards. Okay, we do have a pre finished recon vineyard as well. Even we do have uh, some of the matte finishing, and even we're having some of the unfinished vineyards. So actually, we are trying to see our customer. So uh, what customer actually um, budget, they will, uh, budget they can go for. So actually, we can try to um, let them to choose a suitable products uh, from our company as well. Because we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of product in our listing. Even we having, uh, just like I mentioned, we're having a 300 plus over the variation and color has been select. So we are depending on the customer budget as well. So that we can try to propose to them and explaining more our advantages and the benefit that our products can be given. Thank you, Elwin. Welcome. For Mr. Ui, uh, for a more general context, right, uh, for the interior design industry, what is the number one tip from you when it comes to cost saving in uh, interior design or um, simply about improving our home in environment while still achieving the results of healthy living? What's your take on this? I think it's about... Uh... I think we can start with your budget constraint for certain things. As, as you know, in market, whatever the product label with word smart, intelligent, organic, or natural, they will be selling at premium. And I think, uh, of course, all these have the value because there's one step value, they, not only the product itself, but the hidden uh, value that behind the, the, the product itself. So for the designer, I always look at it as the, what, the, what is really healthy lifestyle. It's about not only the products whatever surrounding with you, but your concept or your mindset to live healthily. You know? And uh, if like I said, a lot of people have a lot of, uh, buying a lot of gym equipment machine at home, but they never use it. And they, they use the best filtration system, but they do a smoker, <laughs> okay? And so on and so on. So I think for interior design, we always look at the aspect, what really work the less cost way? First, if cutting the client that's uh, cannot afford. And of course, if the luxury, if you can afford it, and definitely I support all this product because it's really, they do a lot of R&D. They actually do a lot of research. They actually have the performance and result for all these uh, products. Only thing is in Malaysia context, the awareness of all these products is not very high. That's why it's selling at very high price. And uh, the, the, the demand is not that, that much. No? And I believe all this will be from time to time, it will become more cheaper and cheaper for all these other products we're talking about now. You know, become very common. You know? I, I, that's why I believe like a lot of people, everybody house now have the water filter system. So since those days, I don't think they have. Or now they even go to the air filtration system and so on and so on. Yeah, that's what I, I want to share. Thank you, Mr. Ui. Okay, so before we wrap up the question, let's have a look at our poll results. Uh, can someone send in the results here? Wow, that's 92% from the audience say, yes, yeah, we need to spend more on eco-friendly products. All right, so as long as you have great product that's good for the well-being, it seems like people are willing to spend on it. That's good to know. Okay, let's go on to the third question here. 
As we develop from the topic of shaping healthy design with innovations, we have also noticed the trending topic of post-pandemic living. Say for example, the demand for more flexible spaces, like what Mr. Wich uh, mentioned earlier, healthier and smarter and more sustainable living environments are what we need nowadays. So we have a final question here for the three of you as the industry experts of today. How should we find practical and effective design solutions to cater for the post-pandemic lifestyle in our home and living spaces? So I'd like to invite Tommy and Alvin to share from the angles of product innovation with regards to post-pandemic living and ways to improve our daily lives. Um, Alvin, would you like to go first? Okay, Ken, no problem. Thanks, Grace. Okay, for this question, right, meaning for this, uh, during this period of time, I believe that a lot of uh, people that are working from home during this uh, period of time. So basically for this, uh, for me, right, if they choose to use the wood mini itself, right, to, because the wood mini itself right, can be make your surrounding is more comfortable, even is a more natural if you're using yeah. this product compared to, uh, compared to others, yeah. uh, those uh, building materials products. Okay, so because uh, for the wood mini itself, right, is um, for me, I think, uh, for the natural vineyards uh, that uh, having a lot of uh, advantages compared to others' product as well, okay? Because uh, for the natural vineyard itself, uh, for natural vineyard itself, because uh, for the each of the wood green itself is different. So they make the, make the make your surrounding is a lot more grand. Okay, I can say that it's a more nicer during this. Even the environment make you more comfortable. I, 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 I believe this also, yeah. So even though we are confined in our indoor space, we can still get a bit of greenery outside, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. Yes, yes, really. How about you, Tommy? Uh, like, uh, like just now, Mr. Ui said before, like uh, when doing the design there, you can consider about the like natural natural ventilation interior design. It's actually even those, I would say that I would prefer the customers have the uh, means that they have the natural design okay for ventilations but if their design is unable to ventilate they talk up in the four walls okay so I would say that here's the technology here's come to help to improve the ventilations uh, honestly there's a lot of uh, inquiries especially in the KL city area which is a premium condo they are not able to open their window because of too lot, a lot of uh, dust. Okay, so this is why they ask us to come and help. But sometimes, honestly, we are unable to help also because due to of the structure of the building, we are not uh, we are not able to doing a coring or doing something like that. So I will say that uh, our product is good, but. Okay, I will say that if you ever to have a natural ventilation, it's actually much more better. I'm willing to help, but by the way, you have to, it's like a, some things like a own self a healthy habits. Uh, if it's a habits yourself, how to take a deep breath, fresh air, all that. Uh -huh, I believe that so. Uh. Mm. Mm -hmm. So the key concept is still about ventilation, right? Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Mr. Uh... Uy? Yeah, on top of the, I think have Tommy has said, I think I could agree like, because sometimes, especially like Malaysia, sometimes we face certain seasonal type of uh, like haze. <laughs> no, you're not able to open your window widely to get the natural ventilation. I did this product with the filtration, I think it's fantastic. Like I said, all these are the uh, 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 quality of uh, uh, air that uh, you, you, you need to invest. Yep. All right, a apart from this, uh, Mr. We would like to hear from you to share from a broader context in terms of um, general interior design in the post-pandemic era. Um, okay. What's your opinion? I think there's something that very interesting topic. I think not only in Malaysia, but globally is everyone is talking because we never face this in the lifetime. This is the first time. I think this is the first time also you can see your home suddenly become an office. Your home suddenly become a dance studio and your home suddenly become an entertainment center like a, a watching TV, and you can see suddenly become a gym and so on. So look at it, uh, and worse is you cannot go out. And uh, we have to fully actually appreciate the space that you have now by how, as a, I would say, that how you want to view this within that space. So one of the key things is basically 
flexibility. No, that's why now a lot of I think the trend will go on more flexibility. That's in terms of furniture you select and you, the the way you 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 display them or you do it, you, you lay out them. I think it's very important. And and then one is the the most of the people now use the house as a work from home. So work from home, I think the they need a lot of long. Uh, hour sitting and also must have good enough lighting. So all this have to be considered, you no, know? and uh, space for exercise, you no, know? because we can't go out and so on. So I also can see from the from the new norm, everybody is talking about sanitizing, and a lot of thing is buying online. So whatever you buying online, that you have this cautious about when the goods deliver to you, you need to sanitize them and so on. So. You can see for this itself that uh, people are very cautious about where to put their sanitizing station and uh, even to, to, to invest in the technology, the touchless uh, soup dispenser and so on. You know? And uh, I said, uh, this is how we're going to live and don't know when uh, this will be off. But I think we believe that uh, like, like always we listen to WHO, we will live with this kind of uh, situation many years to come. Uh, I think that's what I, I, I think. All right, thank you, Mr. Ui. Thank you to all our panelists for giving us so much value from the sharing today. And we're very glad to see more and more homeowners nowadays, they have started to explore and appreciate the modern product innovations in order to achieve a more sustainable, healthier living, especially in the post-pandemic era. Okay, next up, um, it's time for our Q&A session. Okay, let's see. We actually received a couple of questions here. Uh, some of them are from those who submitted their question during the webinar registration. And uh, the panelists, they have selected some of the questions to, to address and go about. Okay, um, maybe we'll go with this one first. Uh, this question is from Bob Tan. Uh, question for Tommy. What would you say to a system that can provide fresh oxygen and eliminate VOC and airborne pollution? Okay, I'm your... Uh, thanks, Grace. Uh, I believe that any innovations that bring values to the communities is, is a good machines. Okay, because like you're talking about you giving a fresh air and killing the VOC, there's uh, numbers of this kind of machine in in the market right now, okay? But if you can step up and become uh, more effectiveness, I believe so that the market will be accepting it. Uh, there will be a lot of, there are a lot of customers that are willing to, homo user willing to pay for that. But you need to market it as a the product that you know that they really reach that value. All right, thank you, Tommy. Um, the next one, in the meantime, we also encourage our audience to send in your question uh, into your comment box, okay? All right, the next one, a uh, question for Mr. Ui. This is from Andy Wong. How do we confirm the quality of renovation and building? Okay, I think the, if you're talking about renovation, I just, uh, in the context of an uh, interior renovation, I think, uh, first of all, the quality come in not only the when come to the last, even it started from the right selection of the finishes, the material to use on the certain thing. No? And uh, after that, I think the selection of good contractors who have the commitment and who have the skill and who have the good workmanship also is part of the important thing. And, uh, and I think the sequence of works as long as uh, it's a, it's a, must be a proper no? plan out and so on, because if renovation interior is quite complex. To get the end result of the fine finishing or so-called good quality, it start from every step, quality step, to reach out to that. You know? And uh, last, of course, is the final finishing. You know? Final finishing, that's, uh, you can zoom into the detail of how they finish up within the two material joint and so on and so on. That's what I, 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 I think as an interior designer. All right, the next one is also quite relevant to um, the previous question just now. Um, also to Mr. Ui, what are the key things to consider when choosing an ID firm? This is from Shelly Lee. Okay, I think this is a quite a 
big question. First of all, you must know what type of project you have because the different size of project, you need different firm. Okay, yeah, just take an example if you have a bungalows. That's you must look for the designer that have the bungalow experience because there are many, many details that the designer has gone through from the year experience. And very important is the working with the design firm is not with the firm, but is the, with the person. So very important is you must know who are the key designers or the key person that you work with you because it's a journey to, to achieve something along the line to the client objective. So the communication, I think is very, very important. The experience, the design, of course, the creativity in terms of uh, space solution and the uh, suggestion. They also must write knowledge about the costing, the costing and the technicality in terms of construction. And uh, I would say, it's, uh, as, the, as the old house owner, you also must understand the design process and where is the client responsibility in terms of the process, when they're supposed to make the decision, when they're supposed to make a choice and so on. So the, the, the working together with the client, you must find the firm or the designer that have that passion and the patience to work through together with the client. So that's a, that, that will go, won't go wrong. Like what we have done for our projects is we always have a, 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 a very uh, constant communication with our client, you know, with the group chats, you know, that's uh, whichever changes or whatever uh, point that we want to address with him. And uh, another thing is, I think, is a uh, budget and the uh, timing. That's uh, your commitment of budget and timing. I think that is um, one of the key things. All right. Um, what about the next question here? Um, Chong Ye, someone sent in this. Uh, where can we get affordable renovation? Um, can we have a combined discussion? Or uh, Elvin, would you yeah. like to chip in? Okay, no problem. Thanks, Grace. So for this uh, question, where to get affordable renovation, right? For me, I think uh, for us, uh, when we do uh, wanted to do a, a renovation, right, we must have our own budget, okay? So coming to example, for example, if I wanted to build um, reno, uh, doing a renovation for my house, right, having my own budget. So when I have your own budget, you guys can be uh, finding those uh, design companies, so if we should, they are doing design and build. So actually, you can look for them and you can tell them how much budget that you affordable. So actually, I, I believe that the designer, they, they, the companies already right, will come up with some of the concept and some of the materials are recommended right, to you to make sure your, uh, your, your, your house and renovation will be the price is on your budget affordable. Okay, so that they might be suggest some of the uh, material can be used to make your design concept is a more more nice and more comfortable as well. It depends how how much budget that you willing to pay. I can say, yeah, to to make this uh to answering this question, yeah. Um, how about the rest? Um, I miss a lot of designer. I felt that now designer jobs are not that easy. Yeah? Okay, a lot of people they are asking about budget, budget thing. Uh. First of all, uh, I think that the one thing that we must know, understanding when you find a designer, that is your budget and versus your expectation. So you must come, 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 uh, come to the agreements that with your designer is that your expectation. Because honestly, there's a lot of uh, customers or homeowner they don't have the ideas of how much or how how much one brick is cost they don't know okay how much the cent uh, cost for one kilo they also don't know so we also can't blame them so this is the expectations of when it comes out that it hey, why so expensive no because your your expectation is that expensive <laughs> so we, we must not clear of that mesa but i'm sure that mr we have some experience uh, <laughs> talking about it <laughs> Yes, please, Mr. Uh, go ahead. Okay, I think the word, the question about affordable, I think it's not about affordable, it's about the values of the designer that you engage. What kind of services and how detailed he laid the services to you? Like our firm itself, if you take like a bungalow job, we always be very competitive and we always care about our customer uh, money and we want to use it wisely for them and we spell out very detailed our scope of work. In very detail, like uh, we have to spend because as a designer work based on our time, the time to 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 execute a certain thing, the time to attention a certain thing, we need time. Like even like the client, 
choose the marble where well, we, we take an effort to go to the factory to go and check and so on so this kind of this kind of value is a uh, is, is I, I won't very difficult to say that it's affordable or not, but it's, you must see how much of contract that you want to, whether you want to risk to get the cheaper designer, with the budget you're going to spend, or you get the right designer slightly higher the fee, but they save a lot of cost for you. you know? And they do all the less mistake and they use all the experience to perform to the best for you. And ultimately, like, like, like I said, this uh, to us, the attention to detail, attention to communication and make understanding within suppliers, contractor, and client, that we are in the person in the center of the designer. We must match all these three points because not about the design, but it's the end result that, that the client enjoy. It's not the design process, but the real thing that be done. Yes. Since we're at the topic of budget, right? Um, Peggy Tan sent in a question here. How much will the design and renovation cost for a modern double terrace house? Yes. Any of you? Of course, there will be a question mm. directed to Mr. William. <laughs> I think this is the this is the kind of question that I always receive, and actually, mm. this is a it's a very challenging uh, question to be honest. Because first of all, we must know uh, the size is how big, and what kind of design style they are looking at. Is it classical? Is it minimalist? Is it, no, and how much of the, the so-called the expectation and quality, the finishes and so on. So very good to, to use a one judge you know, to, to, to everything. So, but just for the sake of the everyone, you can use some ballpark figure that's uh, to do an estimate for yourself to, to, to stand by the budget. You can, for bungalow, if you're talking about the investment of the bungalow is four to five million ringgit one big bungalow. I, I don't think you're going to, you only spend about 500,000, right? So you have to sign and balance on certain investment point to get the value, uh, how to say, is in, in, inconsistent with the, the total projects. So normally what we do is we, we don't tell the client, but we study through the whole size. We put out the simple layout so that we can have the, all the element to calculate roughly how much and with what type of uh, images and, uh, and look at few of the interior to roughly gauge the budget. That's, that's why for the experienced designer, it's very important you might have a sand when you design, must always related to the cost because ultimately it's not beautiful picture draw and with the inferior quality of finishes that the client will be not enjoying for the, maybe for interior, normally people will renovate after more than 10 years or 10 years at the, at the timeline. All right, thank you, Mr. Ui. Let's get some questions from the audience right here. Um, okay, there's one question for Elwin. SCP or veneer is better for flooring? Yes, Elwin, would you like to take this? Okay, so for, is it, because of the material itself, right? Wood veneer itself is a more, uh, more suitable places that we're applying, right? I can say that for wood veneers, it's a more in the cabinetry, even in wall panels, even I can say in TV console, even some of the designer they are using or uh, they are uh, trying to spec our veneer to using for sealing as well. Okay, so for our flooring, we do have our flooring materials, which is our KD engineer wood flooring. Okay, and we do have another new new flooring product is a KD white plank wood flooring as well, which is coming in for our new products. So for this, it is a much more suitable for flooring use. But wood veneers, I we are not recommended for flooring use. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Elmi. Mm -hmm. um, we have a pretty interesting question here from Hawk Ui. What are the design trends to bring in the greenery outdoors into our homes to create the resort feel? Okay, I think a lot of us, we miss our vacations too much. <laughs> okay, um, anyone uh, can take the question, please? I to, Just now again, you said the, the, to get the resort feel. Yes, to bring the greenery outdoors, especially to create a resort feel. I think if you are talking from the perspective of from um, you are staying in the landed property, of course you don't build your your surrounding to the maximize all the tiles or, or other restored. So you must leave some space to planting. I think to get the resort feel basically is from the exterior plants or, or, or landscape. 
No? Yes, I think it's very important. And the landscape, you must put some effort to, to lay some uh, garden lights and so on. So it, the, the ambience that only can bring out that mood. No? I think uh, if you if you stay in bang in say in the apartment, of course, like just now I said, you might convert some of your your balcony to have that that uh, that plants or, or the landscape. All right, thank you, Mr. Ui. Um, what about this one? The new um, a new home that is under construction location is more on na nature forest area. It's a condo, almost a uh, thousand three square feet size. Is Scandinavian style suitable? Um, because the owner would want more space and less item, more towards minimalistic. What do you think? Uh, to me, I think uh, minimalistic, uh, definitely uh, if the so-called the owner is a youngster, they prefer something that minimalistic. Got minimalistic, first thing, the cost of renovation is lesser and also less maintenance. Like I said, uh, nowadays, a lot of flexibility. People like to do, uh, like I said, in the home for multifunction and so on. Definitely, minimalistic can be done in any kind of space. Of course, if you have a very big bungalow, when you do a minimalistic, you must see that they even become more spacious. All right. Um, yeah, I think someone sent in a very important question from Terry Yap. How do we make our home COVID safe? Um, Tommy, would you like to... Uh, give some input. Okay, uh, I get these questions a lot. I'm not sure because of selling some kinds of air purifier ventilation system, they always uh, PM me in my Facebook so page. Uh, yep, you can do ventilation system and you can input like our system like flow to one, exhaust fan out. Okay, it actually will help you to improve and also can you reduce the risk uh, and also you can add on some things like air purifier and sterilizer. But here I want to add, uh, add on something. Uh, virus don't come to your house. Virus is what's bring to your house by your own yourself. So it's actually very, uh, it's a, it's, we need to have a, a very high responsibilities on doing the sanitizing, wash our hands to make sure we don't go out so often if we are not, uh, uh, we are not supposed to, and we have our, we want, we want what we call that we have a social distancing. And this are why I say that it will make your home safe and protects your family's members. And it's not about because of the any the gadgets that really they can help you on that. So I will advise everyone to stay safe not to go everywhere, especially the numbers are getting higher and higher these days. Okay, so stay safe, everyone. Thank you, Tommy. Um, next, we have this question from Yeni Chong to Alvin. How would you compare veneer and laminate? What are the differences? Okay, thanks, Grace. So for this question, I can answer for Veneers and uh, veneers and laminate totally uh, two is a different material. The wood veneer itself is uh, coming from the wood lot, it's uh, from the natural resources. And okay, so the wood grain itself is a uh, more, more in beauty on the wood grain that we can uh, show more in the natural feelings. But for laminate itself, right, even though you can see that the laminate materials, I can see that it's a wood grain on the main surface. But they are using a machine, right, to print the wood grain on the, on the lamination on the laminate the surface. So the pattern itself for laminate is right, compared to veneers, right? The laminate will be the pattern will be more uh, because it's a printed, so it's a more in repeated the pattern, I can say. Okay, even the pattern you can see for example in the wall, if you're using a wet laminate, so you can see each of the pattern of wood green, right? It's a repeated one. But for wood uh, for wood green itself on veneer itself, right? Once you use the natural veneers, right, you can see the whole of the walls, right? Even it's a few pieces of panel, but the wood green itself is totally different. It's totally different because it's from the wood, natural wood, wood lot. Okay, so for laminate nowadays, I believe that the price uh, depends on the what brand because in the market now, a lot of the laminates that can be chosen because uh, each of the brand, uh, the, price is, uh, the price is different as well. But some of the high-end laminates, I believe the price is uh, much more higher. But for us itself, right, because we do have uh, one of the pre-finished recon veneer that we are making a market survey. Actually, our pre-finished -pre uh, recon wood veneers, right, compared to those laminate, right, actually the price is uh, much competitive. 
is a much reasonable forward. So, so that's why actually we are uh, quite suggested that our client, if they wanted to use, can prefer to use a pre-finished recon renewals. See, it's a renewal and the price is affordable and compared to those laminate as well. Okay, thank you, Elm. Mm. All right, due to time constraint, um, I think we have to close the Q&A for now. All right, amazing sharing from all our speakers today. Thank you so very much. We hope our audience enjoy the session as well. And before we wrap up the webinar, I'd like to invite our speakers to give us one key takeaway from the sharing today. Um, Tommy? Uh, technology is advancing. The most important thing is stay safe, everyone. Okay, if you are needed, the ventilations that technology that can help, you can PM me. But one more thing, and one important thing is your health. So stay safe, everyone. Thanks. Thank you, Tommy. Um, what about you, Elvin? Okay, for me, it's a uh, I bet for our company is um, supplying for wood winners. If you guys are needed more and more information, right? Anytime you guys can drop drop us a message. If you guys uh, wanted to come to view the full panels, it's welcome as well. You guys can become our showroom. Even we do have our warehouse to keep our stock. So you guys can be coming. We can show you more about our videos and more explanation on our products on this. And the same time, I wanted to see uh, same as uh, Ms. Tommy that seeing stay safe, everyone. Because uh, today, I believe that the cases is more than 20, 20K today. So, yeah. so stay safe, everyone. Thank you, Alvin. Mm. Uh, next, Mr. Ui. I think uh, to, for take home, everyone, I think you can have all whatever thing that we discussed just now. But I think the most important is your mindset. How you want to live healthy, no, of course, you have all the things that we have mentioned. It's a luxurious. Uh, so I think uh, health is about everything. Huh? Uh, that's why there are, I think there's a lot. When you go and see, there's a lot of people don't mind to invest more technology for health. No, because it cannot be compared. So I said it's a mindset thing. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you everyone for joining us today. So before we go, we have one more exciting event coming up that I'd like to share with all of you. Taiwan Excellence will be having a building material online product launch to showcase some of the latest technologies and innovative products from Taiwan. So do join us. And for more information, you can log on to twbuildingmaterials.com to find out more. You can find a link in the comment box below. Click on it and register now. So once again, thank you to all our panelists, Mr. Ui, Tommy, and Elwin. We have gained so much value from today's sharing. And we hope everyone continues to stay safe and stay healthy. See you next time. Thank you. Bye. In the face of a worldwide pandemic, Taiwan has actively lent a helping hand to the world. Taiwan Global Anti-COVID-19 Pavilion. In this website, we've created an anti-epidemic products and solution providers section, where you can find information about suppliers or any particular business solutions. This section will help you reach out to more than 2,000 Taiwanese companies who can aid in your fight against the pandemic. In these videos, Companies and experts discuss the latest innovations to help combat the pandemic. In this section, we put at your disposal the contact information of 20 Taiwanese top medical institutions. We also inform you about the main strategies used in Taiwan to effectively control and stop the spread of the virus. So please be sure to bookmark and share this website. And remember to follow us on Facebook for our latest updates.